Ladders match and it's for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Behold the M. Come on, we need to get over here. Now hold on, Cole, let's just see where this goes. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, what a slam that hurt. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh, and a knee. And an oh, using the knee as a weapon. by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. Oh, incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Beautiful technique. Here's Charles. Bear! Now, that's what I call making a statement. Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications, and no submissions. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above the ring. Escapes trouble there. Harsh impact. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. If you're in a one-on-one -on -one match with Charlotte Flair, what kind of strategy do you employ to score a win against the Queen? You know, Charlotte doesn't really have backup like Rick did with the Four Horsemen. In fact, Charlotte's made enemies out of most of her allies. Boom! <laughs> and going back to Charlotte's allies, the four horsewomen may look imposing, but Rick didn't anger Arn and Tully to the extent her NXT group have fought. Yeah, if you can find an alliance to stand in your corner, there's a chance Charlotte might not have any friends in the back to neutralize them. Big boot. Charlotte may have it harder than any other second generation star. Upholding a family's legacy is tough, but when your dad is Ric Flair, that's even more hype. Takes her down. Wow, nice move right there. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Charlotte's pressure as the daughter of Ric Flair is immense, but she shouldered it and forged ahead with a career that might eventually eclipse the nature boys. And we've seen talented superstars falter under their parents' legacy, but Charlotte's proving herself the equal of the most decorated world champion ever. It's no wonder she's oh. the queen. We'll see how long she can keep it up. Look out! Boom! What impact! All right, listen up, morons. Especially you, Byron. A tables, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as a team. She looks for Charlotte with the spear. Now that's how you successfully defend your title. 
Oh man, I'll tell you, it didn't look any less brutal the second time around. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Corey, you spoke about the TLC match. It is interesting to note that the TLC match was created because of the incredible triangle ladder match the Dudley boys had against the Hardys and Edge and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 2000. And that was just the beginning. You got that right, Michael. There was incredible history all on the line so they could be WWE Tag Team Champions. Even though the wild matches between them had TLC elements in them, the first official TLC match sanctioned by WWE took place at SummerSlam 2000. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE Champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner would leave as WWE. It was a setup. From behind, natural selection. Asuka needs a miracle. Corey, you mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. The match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The WWE Championship dates back to 1963. In the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the bottom rope. But Cena detached the rope and fought back against Orton. Both men struggled until the Apex Predator ripped Cena off the ladder, forcing him to land face first on a table. The Viper became immortalized when he grabbed both historic prizes and became the WWE. The World Heavyweight Champion. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. We saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling in TLC's environment of twisted, unforgiving steel and solid wood. Both men had bad intentions as displayed by AJ Styles when he executed a springboard 450 splash out to the floor that put Ambrose through a table. That wasn't enough to put Ambrose away, but James Ellsworth pushed Ambrose off the ladder, out of the ring, and through a table. That's how AJ Styles retained his championship. Within five years of her first match at NXT, Charlotte has a list of big matches that would already qualify her as a Hall of Famer. And the list just keeps growing. Michael, Charlotte's big match resume is a... We have seen her... Man! Game set. Charlotte is getting ready here. Oh, what a kick. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. I'll be surprised if this one ends at any point soon. There still seems to be plenty of fight left in these superstars. You gotta wear your opponent down. Find that little weakness that could help you end up with a victory. And Asuka was able to get out of the way there. Charlotte has been the centerpiece of so many WWE milestones, but her match at Hell in a Cell 2016 was her biggest triumph ever. Now Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks had so many epic encounters already, but their Raw Women's Championship match that night warranted a main event Hell in a Cell match. Neckbreaker! It is not looking good for Charlotte. Byron, that Hell in a Cell match was the first time women main evented a WWE pay-per-view. And both ladies brought their very best to the cell that night. Corey, I know Charlotte and Sasha took immense pride from headlining that show. But when all said and done, Charlotte is the one we'll forever remember as the winner. And here we go with 
with Charlotte. Spectacular. Some good technique right there. What's this? Here she comes. And Asuka was able to get out of the way there. And Charlotte was able to get out of danger there. Lucky for her. Oh, and now. Here she goes. I guess she, uh... Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here is your winner and the new SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka! Now that's eking out a win. And to be honest,